Okay, so we talked a little bit about the machines, but what I'd like to do now is show you some of the oddball pieces and the various pieces that went into the machine. You remember I talked about the mandrel with the cutter, and then the stationary piece. The stationary piece actually, the mandrel went over the stationary piece so that the button could be totally cut, and then as it came out, it would have this little device that would push the button out of the hole. So that's the way, that's the, way the uh, mandrels work and the way the stationary piece worked. When they needed, when a button cutter needed to sharpen his tools and sharpen his saws, he would put it in a little vise, and this again was Preston's vise right at the end, then he would take a file. The file is a little three-sided, very sharp file. And what it did, and just to show you once again up close, you might be able to see the teeth here. And as it would be cutting, as it would be cutting the buttons, it would, of course, like any saw, it would get dull. So Preston would load that piece in his vise, he would take his file and he would just go around the edge one tooth after the other and it would be sharp, whoop, be sharp as could be. A couple other things, there's rosin that went on the belt that would help the pulley pull the uh, belt around and keep it from keep it from uh, flying off the pulley. This is the same stuff the violinists use on their bows. Preston also had a nice little knife here. I'm not sure whether he used this for cutting or for his fishing. We've got his hunting and his fishing license on his uh, table on the other end here. And I didn't talk too much about the abalone shells. You can see how shiny an abalone shell is. And it was one of the most popular shells for button cutting, for cutting that the button blanks had come from. And these shells came from Australia, they came from Hawaii, came from Florida, and they were shipped to Milton, Delaware in barrels and in um, crates. You may even see the crates in an antique store. They're collector's items because they were built of teak. And cabinet makers would take those and they would make furniture out of them. And it's a very shiny shell and it was one of the most popular ones that was used for the button blanks. Preston also had his oil can. He had a tin can and he had a oil can within the tin can. And you have to keep your button cutter running smooth at all times. So those were just some of the additional little items that Preston Chandler had in his shop.